Right, break even terms. You will need to know these to be able to access break even. Make sure you listen carefully, take notes, really make sure you understand them. So, break even itself. Break even, what we're going to do is we're going to try and find the point at where a business doesn't make a profit or a loss. So, when its sales revenue equal its total cost. They want to know this because if they sell more than their break even point, they'll make a profit. And they'll know if they sell less, they will make a loss. Now we're going to look into this in more detail in future videos, but that is the, the, the principle we're trying to get. So we're going to move on now to the terms you need to know in order to calculate break even. The first term we're going to look at is fixed cost. This is the costs a business have which do not depend on how many products a business makes. They could make one, they could make ten, they could make a thousand, and these costs would not be altered. So we're going to look at a toy factory for this. And in a toy factory, the rent would be the same no matter how many bears they made. The bills, the electricity, the gas, the heating would be the same. They would have to pay insurance on the building regardless of how many toys they make and they would have to advertise. They'd have to advertise before they knew how many things they were going to make. So these are the fixed costs in the business. They do not depend on how many products a business makes. The second type of costs we're going to look at are called variable costs. Now, these are costs which do depend on how many products a business makes. So the more they make, the more of these things they're going to use up. Now, I think the easiest way to remember this, if it's per item, then it's variable. So in our toy factory, it would be per toy. If we we're in a car factory, it would be per car. If we we're in a pizza shop, it would be per pizza. So we're going to look at the things that they use more of when they make more. So our toy factory, it would be eyes. The bears would use, each bear has two eyes. The more bears you make, the more eyes you use. The more bears you make, the more stuffing you have. The more lovely little bows around their neck they have. These things are all per bear and they are all variable costs. Now, total cost. Total cost, all this means is we're going to add together the fixed cost to the variable cost. We are getting all the costs involved in our toy factory of making the bear. So the final term we need to know is sales revenue. We might call it sales, we might call it revenue. It has quite a few names, this one, but we're going to call it sales revenue. Now, this is the amount of money earned by the business. We will calculate this by taking the price of the item, my bear over there is looking lovely for £10, and then timesing it by the amount sold. So how many we sold, how much we sold it for, that's how much money we've earned. So if we look at our toy factory, if they sold 50 bears at £10 each, the sales revenue would be £500. That is what sales revenue is, the amount of money the business has earned. So we have our key terms here. If you know these key terms, you'll be able to calculate the break-even point. We'll be going through that in future videos.